First, we're going to draw a series of circles. Make it the metal color. Copy, paste in place, make a smaller version, put it on top. Use the shadowed metal. Good, copy and paste that, paste it into place, make it smaller, change that one to green. We're going to lower the opacity to 50%. Copy, paste in place again, make this one a little bit smaller, and change it back to 100%. Copy, paste in place, make it slightly bigger than that last one, and use the lighter green this time and send it backward. So we're going to draw a little circle. This is going to be the light. Change it to white. And then we're going to go over to the start tool. And from the center, drag out a triangle. Put the circle at the top of the triangle. Snap it into place. Duplicate it and put it on the lower left side and the lower right side. You can delete the triangle now. Select all, group it, and move it out of the way. Scale this one down. And it's going to be the bottom. Duplicate it. Use the Pathfinder tool to make a shape. We're going to cut it in half with a rectangle using the minus front from Pathfinder. Change it to the metal color, make it a little bit bigger, and then we're gonna move it into place. Line it up so it naturally just goes with the curve. Select it, and we're gonna send it to back. Make it a little bit bigger so we got more of a disc shape. Draw out another ellipse. Make this the shadowed metal. And move it down, same thing, the curves, just so it's hidden. Send it behind. You can see the middle is just beyond the edge. Make another copy. We're going to make this one about the same size, just a little bit smaller. And that one's going to move behind. Select it, group it, we'll move it down out of the way. Now we're going to make the cockpit. Draw out a circle. We'll make it the glass color. Draw out two rectangles. Select them both and change them to white. We're going to make them at a little bit of an angle for a glare. Move them over the circle, select both or all. Using the Shape Builder tool, we'll cut them out. And then draw another rectangle to go over half the circle. Select them all. Use the Shape Builder and cut it in half. We're going to lower the opacity on the glares to about 10%. Group them, and then we'll move the UFO over top and put it in place so it's the right perspective. Zooming in the bottom, you wouldn't see the edges, so you can move these circles slightly forward or up. Move the UFO out of the way. We're going to use it as a guide to draw the top. Let it snap to the edges so it's exactly the same size. Change it to the metal color. We're going to draw two rectangles. Again for the glare. Select them both, change them to white. Select all. And use the shape builder tool to cut off the edges. Select the two white rectangles, make them 10% opacity. Okay, we're going to try to line up this circle with the edges of the cockpit. Change the color. 
maybe a little smaller. Copy, paste in place. Make this one a little bit bigger. And use the same color you used for the top. Put over top of the glares. Copy, paste in place. Another version that's slightly bigger. And use the, the black color. Or close to the black color. So if you zoom in here, you'll see that it's a little bit darker around the edges. So duplicate it, move it to the side. We're going to do our little glares. Make the circle a little bit bigger. And using the minus front from the Pathfinder, we're going to cut it out. Have a little crescent. Duplicate it. Spin the other one around. Change the opacity to 10%. This one will keep it 20. Let's move the first one into place. And then the second one into place. They should just snap to the edges. And one more, we're going to draw a rounded rectangle. Make sure the edges are curved. Change it to 20%. And now you have your top view. Now let's make this a little bit bigger to match that upper arch on the side view. Group it. Move it down. You got your side view. You got your bottom view. Snap the edges to make them all the same size. And that's how you draw a UFO in Illustrator.